Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Titec, CTO of DVS, and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new product from Hype Vision. But before we do that, please, please, please stay safe wherever you are. We know that this COVID-19 has an outbreak globally. We know everyone is feeling that pressure and that strain. DVS is no different. Here in the UK last night, we had some measures introduced to try and stop that curve. So please, wherever you are, we're still here to help. <clears throat> if you need anything, please let us know. But please stay safe, keep your families safe. We'll get through this and we'll see you on the other side and we'll all be better for it. So please stay safe. Okay, moving on. So Hike Vision PTZ, brand new product from Hike Vision. It's a four megapixel, four time zoom product. So the part number is DS-2DE. 3A404IW-DE stroke W. So PTZ, it's got the built-in microphone, it's got real-time audio visual alarm, Wi-Fi, 120 decibels, dynamic range. Inside the box, you've got some screws in the usual manual, the power supply if you're gonna use 12 volt DC, some waterproof jacket and some more screws. I would say this probably weighs about one kilogram maybe. So it's this small here, PTZ, you've got the lens on the front, back plate simply slides off, two screws to tighten up once it's on. So screw the back plate, that slides on. You've got your 12 volt in or your PoE network connection. You've got one alarm in, one alarm out and audio in, out. You've also got 12 volt out. So it's a 60 milliamp 12 volt out, maybe for a PIR or a microphone, etc. You've got your SD card slot on the side, um, your visual alarm. That's about it really, a nice little unit. We're gonna fit it up here instead of this older unit, the four series that is now obsolete. So we're gonna change that over and fit that. So stay tuned and we'll be back once I have fitted it. Okay, and welcome back. So we fitted the camera, we're at the web browser. I'm in the same room as the PTZ, it's fitted on the stand behind me. This is the full model number of the PTZ, and this is the latest firmware. So please check it always on the latest firmware. If you don't know, you can always ask us, but it is available on the portal. That is the latest as of today. Okay, so going into live view, you can see it's a four megapixel, 2.8 to 12 mil times four optical zoom. So the image is really, really nice. Just wait for that to load. Um, full zoom. then full out. What you will notice with this is not continual rotation PTZ. So if I drive it round to the back, you'll see it does hit a manual stop and that's either way. It's not 360 continual rotation. There we go, it stopped. What we'll do is call preset one, which goes back to where it was looking before. I set that as the home preset. You can set up many presets and in the schedule task, you can set this to do a patrol so it goes between certain waypoints, um, but it is entirely up to you. Like I said earlier, it does have a built-in microphone. We've set it for mainstream and substream as video and audio. So if we enable the built-in oh, microphone yeah. audio. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. So you have that functionality as well <clears throat> on the ptz functions you've got standard ptz functions and you can also adjust some basic setup for the camera itself it does have an sd card if you choose to use that you can go into playback and play the footage that's on the sd card back directly okay so moving on into configuration again and we'll run through some of the features of this ptz so pretty standard web browser function doesn't need anything in here. The first thing we'll look at is it's got the platform access high connect, which I've enabled already, which I'll show you on my phone shortly. It's got the Wi-Fi. So if I wanted to add it to a Wi-Fi, I could simply select, type in the password, save, and it would connect to that. I'm not going to type the password in. I don't want it to connect to my Wi-Fi specifically. It's already on a network that can be directly accessed outside, but it does have Wi-Fi if you want to connect it that way. Integration protocols, it's got the standard integration protocols. It's got HTTPS, HTTP listening network service, quality of service, all of the standard 
email, FTP, SNMP. All of the standard functions that you have come to understand in the Hypervision product. Into video and audio, we set it as 4 megapixel real time, 25 frames a second, H265 algorithm. And we've done the same for the substream, video and audio, and that's at 4 SIF, 25 frames a second. Um, with the audio, you can adjust the audio encoding and sampling rates as required. We've got a line in or a mic in. The default is mic in, which is using the built in microphone. But if you want to use an external microphone, simply select line in and connect that external mic in. There is a 12 volt output, which you could actually technically power the external microphone with. And the mute during pan and tilt is suggested because as you move in, you'll hear the motor. So it's probably best that you would turn that on to stop that going onto the audio. Input volume can be adjusted and the output volume, which is the output volume of the built-in speaker. So select that, so it's on full volume. This camera has some automated messages. So if somebody walks in an area like a motion detection, it will flash the light and then announce a preset message, um, similar to the AccuSense products that we sell, which we'll go into shortly. So image settings, all of the standard, Image chatting, so scene, you can choose multiple scenes. And you can adjust the parameters accordingly. Or you can do image parameters switch. So you can set up um, even to a preset and what that then triggers the link scene to. Or a scheduled switch. You can do a preset call and change it by that. Or you can do a, schedule, a scheduled switch and do the linked scene that way. PTZ menu, again, you can adjust the basic PTZ parameters. Again, it's not um, a full-blown PTZ, so it doesn't have the smart tracking, doesn't have a wiper, it doesn't have full rotation, um, but it does have some basic PTZ functions, so it can be a really little nice device. You've got your limit, so if you want it to physically stop somewhere, so it can't physically look past the preset point, whether for privacy or for something like that. Um, park action, I've set this so after 10 seconds of inaction, it goes back to preset 1, which is my home preset. You've got privacy masks if you need that. Again, enables the privacy function. Schedule tasks, you can set up preset, dome reboot, dome adjust, or auxiliary output. So you could link the preset to a scheduled task. Um, the preset to a schedule, a scene, a scene change, sorry. Um, or you can just have it go into a certain preset. So at a certain time, the PTZ turns to look at a different. So during open hours, it's in one position. During closed hours, it's in another position. Perhaps that's what you want to do. Clear config and prioritize PTZ. Now, under events, it does have VCA events um, and alarm input. But what you'll find under motion detection, you'll see the linkage action for flashing alarm and audible warning and you'll see the same for alarm input what we don't have currently is the vca linkage i'm working on that already but say under the intrusion detection and linkage method we don't have that currently for the vca even though the vca is there we don't have that linkage action so to show you that working if we go to motion detection or alarm input could be a pir for instance or beam we'll set a motion area which i have over here arm is scheduled linkage action flashing alarm and audible warning so that'll be triggered when the motion is detected and we set up an area of sensitivity of 40 flashing alarm output flashing duration 15 seconds high frequency and the brightness we can adjust that accordingly and then set the armed time so 24 7 and then the audible alarm output you've got three messages siren welcome please notice the areas under surveillance which we're going to use or welcome and how many times that message is played and again the arming schedule for it we are going to work on seeing if we can upload custom ones like the accusense product and then using vca linkage also but for now this is what you get and then you get storage for the sd card if you're using that so if I go back to live view, I'll turn the P this around so you can see the camera flashing. So give me two seconds. Okay, so the P you'll see the PTZ over there. Um, I'm going to go and walk and trigger the motion.
Okay, so you should have seen that trigger still going now because I triggered it. I'll stop that because it will get annoying as I'm trying to talk. So give me two seconds while I disable that. Okay, so we've also added the PTZ to the Hike Connect app using that Hike Connect method. So if I open the PTZ, obviously you've got PTZ control. And also two-way audio. So if I press that two-way audio button. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Please leave. There you go. So you've got really powerful functions from the app itself, plus the push notifications that you'll receive from any events. I'm just going to turn the light off now to give you a, like a brief overview of the day-night um, performance. And past that, we're finished. Okay, you can see we're in uh, black and white mode now. The uh, IRs on there, uh, there is infrared off some of the other cameras that fit in here. Um, you can see that's going now. It picked up some movement over in the left-hand corner. But that's about it, guys. Um, lovely image day and night. Really powerful little device. If you need anything, please let us know. Any questions, again, please contact us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, we'll see you next week for another how-to video. Stay safe and take care. Cheers.